This is part one of my model railroad structure build series, scratch print in a coal mine using Tinkercad and Cura. We're doing that in the end scale. Stick around, we're gonna do it right now. Hey everybody, this is Brian with the Iron Horse Route, welcoming you to my scratch print series. I do want to let you know this is a series, and if you have not seen the introduction, I'm going to go ahead and put the playlist right here right now. And if you'll click that, it'll show you that video, then this video in sequence, and that way you'll be all caught up in order. This is part one. This is the truck dispensary building on my coal mine that I'm scratch printing. All right, so here we are in Tinkercad, and what I do is I come and I build them flat like this. And then I come back to this and print them for flat like this. But we start like this to build because this is how they're going to be printed. Then we can assemble things to make sure they fit. Put them back flat again and print them. I like to bring everything together and then piece it all together before printing to make sure everything fits right. I can move each of these pieces independently or I can regroup them and it's one unit as a whole. One of the things that I do do as well is I put notches in on these bases now to help me hold these um, pieces a little more uh, snugly in place. And I'll show you that on the next one. So I piece this all together, make sure it all fits, then I go back to the flat version to print it. Now in this capacity, I do export, STL, I'm going to send it to Cura. All right, <clears throat> come in Cura, and where I see red, I got problems. Now on the top, those are shingles, so I want that. I check on the bottom, and I'm all blue. I'm ready to slice. And now I would send this to the jump drive. This is 20 grams. Take three hours and two minutes to print. All right, so what we have here is the building that dispenses coal to trucks as opposed to locos at the coal mine. And I um, created this stuff on Tinkercad and I had it 3D printed. And so I've got a corrugated metal side here. I've got a, a side of the house with the roof eave. No shingles. I had them too thin, so I'm reprinting those now along with the actual coal dispenser itself. Here are the supports, and I'm gonna have to cut these all free. It shouldn't be too hard. It's, they come off pretty easy, but with these pieces being two millimeters, I'm gonna have to use a uh, blade, an Alimber 11 blade, just be real careful through there. And uh, what I'm gonna do next is I've got to put a window there this will have the uh, conveyor in there. I gotta put a window here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint all this black and then I'll put the sides on, the roof on. And after the roof gets done reprinting, I'll attach it to the top as well. And we'll see what we got for size and we'll get it over here and start to looking where it's gonna go. And then we'll have, this is just a very small building in a group of buildings, but it was kind of simple and I wanted to start off with it. I mean, with, to the, until I got here, but that printed all right. That's 
right the supports they came out pretty good and so the dispenser will go in the top here the little house will sit all the way on top and trucks will load underneath We have painted the bottom of the coal dispenser for trucks. And what will happen is these little dispensers will come out of the bottom there, come out and uh, point down, get closer to those truck beds. I'm going to have to make those dispensers as well. I'm about to paint the inside of this uh, house black. Uh, it's a little thin and I'm going to have a light in there um, for the windows. I don't want the light showing through. And there's going to be coal in there um, as well. So you shouldn't be uh, seeing through those walls at all. So I'm going to paint them black and make sure they're not see-through. Come back to you in a sec.
All right, everybody, that's my truck dispensary building that I scratch printed myself using Tinkercad and Cura. I'm pretty proud of it. I learned some things and did the main building. That's going to be coming to you in three to five days. I want to encourage you to subscribe, click the bell icon. Please share this with your other modeling friends on other platforms. I would appreciate it. Y'all have a great day. Look for part two coming out three to five days. Thank you.